we're going to be working on a joyful journey for a clarinet. This is the next section. We're going to be starting at the Allegro Spirito. That's measure 26, but you do have uh, three measures rest. So the next set part you have, this is a uh, first clarinet. C, F, G, C. First of all, it's a, it's a whole note tied to another whole note, which means it's four counts plus four counts. You're going to hold that for a total of eight counts. A high C is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, plus the top row, the bottom pinky. It's like you were playing a low F, but you're also going to tilt your thumb up and knock on that octave key. So still covering your thumb hole, you're going to tilt your thumb up and knock on that octave key to make it a high C. If you can't get that high C up, that's okay. Make, you can write a, low, uh, write a C there and just play a regular low C for now. We will learn how to play the high C though, so don't worry. Let's play those first four notes. We have one, two, ready, play. <laughs> two measures rest. 34, I'm going to play it for you and then we'll go through the notes. We're going to be stopping at measure 42. We have. in there which is the one two three four five six pinky and then the octave key tilting your thumb up for the octave key you also have a high d in there which is one two three four five six no pinkies with the octave key so it's like a low g with the octave key six fingers plus the octave key that's how you play a high d okay you also have the b flats in this song which is your a key with your octave key, but this time you're not going to hold your thumb down, you're just going to push the back octave key. So it's going to be the A key with the octave key. We're going to walk through this, the first part of 34. You have F, C, F, G, A, D. Let's just play that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> If you cannot get the high C out, just write a C there and just play a regular C. If you can't get the high C out, remember it's all six fingers plus your bottom pinky and tilt that octave key. Here we go. <laughs> flat you have a key back key a and then the F you're going for the high D you're gonna push everything down no pinkies plus um, knock on that octave key in the back if you can't play a high D just write a regular D there and you'll play D C and then go to the B flat so it'll sound like this instead of this As long as you play a D and a C there, for now, I'm not concerned if you can't play the high notes. So we're going to start the last B flat of line 34, the last note. One, two, three, four. And that's all we're going to work on for this week. So I'm going to play number 34 up into that point. For now, um, one more time all the way through. Do your best to play along with me. And next week, we'll learn the next section. Here we go. Here's 34. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great, 
I can't wait to hear your recordings. Remember, you can always log into my office hours on Thursday, and I'm more than happy to work with you.